everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Chateau Life. Yeah. Um, it's the 29th of December. <laughs> yeah, I had to check then. I yeah. had to check in January. Um, so we are working away, getting ready for New Year's Eve and having some friends over. That's right. And the plan is, we're on a deadline, it's for this room. And it's uh, to have a nice cozy room ready with a brand new wood boiler in there. I say brand new, but it's new for this room. And that's what Phil's in charge with. So he's working outside on it. And I am working inside uh, on a another room. Uh, which is our morning salon, and I'm doing uh, some gilding, so I'm applying gold onto the walls, which is really, really beautiful. Yeah, so let's get on with that. The day's going away with this. Right, so I'm back outside in the unloved part of the house where all the projects go to die, and uh, I don't think this wood burner was any different for some time. We've had it a couple of years, I've never got around to fitting it in our TV room. And the main reason we really, really want it in there is it's a fantastic room. The view's great, it's a really big room, and it's warm with the radiators, but it's never cozy. And so in the winter, we just don't use it. And in the summer, we spend all our time out on the terrace uh, right up until it's time to go to bed. So it's time to get that room usable in the winter, nice, cozy, and warm. And that's why I'm getting this wood burner done. That and Angelina has obviously been kicking my backside about not doing it for the last couple of years because, you know, we're men, we find other jobs to do, um, which are more interesting. So uh, time to get it done, but it's not been an easy task. So this fairly ruined antique wood burner uh, was probably destined for the scrapyard, to be fair, but I really like the style of this and it suits that room perfectly for what I want. Uh, especially as it's got the twin doors which open up which means you can kind of open it up and have the nice ambience of a fire open fire if you want but it really had some issues hopefully you can see that huge gaps at the back where um bits had rotted away and once i sort of got rid of the rot we needed to try to fill those holes properly and safely as you don't want to be trying to do that with the fire putty not for not for large gaps like that. While I'm taking a little break to stand up uh, and ease joints, I will show you what I've been doing so you get a better idea of why this is taking so long um, of what was originally I thought was going to be a real quick task. Okay, let me give you a better idea of what's going on here. This will still be hot, so be careful. Here, if you remember, was a large round hole and that was there because there would have been a plate over this, uh, as you can see by the fixing, which would allow a pipe for a back boiler, which will never have fitted and that plate had rotted away uh, didn't want to make a new plate, so I literally welded the entire hole shut. And that is an example of what I've been doing everywhere else where there were issues. So, as you can see, this is separating a, a, a few areas. So, once you cut the rot out and grind it back, there's a bit bigger gap than I really want to fill with the fire putty. I prefer the smallest gaps possible. So... Not the neatest of jobs, but you get a better idea. This was actually a lot bigger, and I simply welded it all up. And I'm just starting to clean it up, make sure they're fantastic welds so they're safe, and uh, possibly go over a few if I need to. So this is the end of your MIG welding torch. That little wire out the end is your metal, which is the filler wire essentially. That has the electric go through it, and as it contacts, it superheats it, fuses it all together with the electric, so you're literally filling the area with metal and fusing it all together, so it's as strong, if not stronger, than the original. The problem with this welding, of course, is it's cast iron, which means I have to heat up the area I'm welding with a blowtorch, so it's nice and warm before I weld. Um, otherwise, cast iron cracks quite easily with um, uh, heat the sudden heat uh, and cooling. 
So it's not been a fast task, but worth doing. So it's safe and all um, great for years and years to come. And of course, I'm, I've got to have it inspected by the guy that's fitting it for the insurance reasons. So it needs to be perfect. I don't want to get uh, this all sorted. And then he says no. Right, got my paraffin space heater here, keeping that nice and warm and making sure it's dry. I've blown it all off with an airline, getting all the dust after it's cleaned off. The paint I'm using, the stove paint, only takes 10 minutes to dry, so I can get that dry in a minute, get it upright, and start getting this all together. All right, that can dry in front of the paraffin space heater. Then we can get to the other side and the tops. We are nearing the final touches, I think. This is the fire putty. And that, you run it all along the edges just to make sure there's a perfect seal so no air gets in where it shouldn't do. Then you can really control the flames in the fire. We are nearing the end. Obviously, I haven't painted the inside and the front is gonna get another coat of brushed on so it's nice and thick once I move it inside. But, as we can see, we're looking good. I can move this inside now and I can brush what I need to brush inside with the paint and um, then I can just do the door separately. Right, well, the light's starting to fade and it's time to get it inside. And that is the job I have not been looking forward to do. So that involves me, a sack truck, a very heavy wood burner, a journey through the muddy back garden and then the steps and the bridge across into the dining room. So wish me luck. Well, this is the easy bit. This is compacted gravel. Oh dear, here comes the mud. Oh, out of breath. There it is, I go around and unlock the dining room door. And that's the room it's going in. It's almost home. The last step from there through to that room. Well, I think it can live here for a minute. I am shattered dragging this around. Looking very different from when we first started and it's almost ready to fit. Now it can sit in here and I'll uh, paint the inside and the front with the uh, brushed on stove paint to give it a nice thick coat where we'll see it all the time. Then just the doors and we're good to fit. Just in time. I really can't wait for tomorrow. The, uh, the heating engineer is coming to certify it and fit it properly in that fireplace there. It's just through that door. And then this will be a fantastically cozy room. Just to do the doors tomorrow. Mm -hmm.